Hey y'all, welcome back to the lab. In this video, we're gonna walk through setting up a web app that's running in a Docker container to be hosted on a machine using Coolify Cloud. So that's a bit of a um, mouthful, but basically I wanna walk you through actually, you know, using Coolify to actually host a Docker container you have so that it can live on the VPS um, and you don't have to do it manually. And so I just built 1 million checkboxes.xyz. And so I need to, you know, actually host it somewhere so you all can play with it. And as I was going through this, I was like, oh, maybe this will be a useful video to like show people how this happens. Um, and so that's what we're gonna be doing. It's gonna be kind of loose. We're just gonna, you know, try to go through the flow. All right, so here I am in my Coolify dashboard. I have a few projects. Really, this is the only one that's running anything. And over here I have my repo, which is private. But basically it's Cloud Seed, um, and then I used Cloud Seed to build this 1 million checkboxes thing. And so let's come over here to Coolify, and we're going to go to the project that I want to host on. This is Hamey Labs. So I'm going to come in here, and we can see that I'm already hosting um, four different apps on my Coolify instance, and then I also have a database here as well. Now what I'm going to do here is just go to the top here, New, under New Resources, and it's going to ask me like what kind of resource do I want to host. Um, of course, I showed you I have a GitHub repo that's private, and so I'm going to want to come down here to um, the private repo with deploy key. I prefer this to GitHub apps because I really don't like things having access to my GitHub apps. Deploy key is a very standard um, way of doing this kinds of deployment, so this is what I prefer. And so I'll click this to start. Now what it's going to do is it's going to ask me to select a private key. Now note that um, GitHub does not allow you to use multiple keys to like uh, publish your app. So you can't use like the same key. Like here I have my full stack projects key. I can't use that also for 1 million checkboxes. Um, and so, you know, all of these are already in use, I can see. So I actually need to go create one. And so to do that, we're going to come over here to keys and tokens, and I'm just going to add a private key. And so I'll just create a name. We'll be like deploy 1 million checkboxes. Yep, like that, and then we'll generate a new key here, and I'm gonna have to blur this um, private key out. Oh, let's do this again. But now we have this new um, ED220 SSH key that I can now use um, here. So I'm gonna continue with that, and so we see that we got the key here, and now we'll go back to my projects, we'll go back to here, um, and then we'll create a new one again, and then now we'll do the private repository we can see my new key here, 1 million checkboxes. We'll say, hey, use that. And then we need to set up the actual repository. And then so I'm gonna come over here to 1 million checkboxes, take the URL and we'll put it in there. And then for the branch, I'm on main. For build packs, we're using a Docker file. Uh, we can see that I have the Docker file in here. This is what comes with Cloud Seed uh, right here. So this is how it runs. And then so I've got this all set up and I'm gonna just say continue. And now it's going to give me like a basic version of this. Now we can see that it's already exited. Um, oh, let's change this name. This is 1 million checkboxes. Um, it has the Docker file. We see that we have this domains. Okay. Um, Docker image. Now it's going to pull it directly. Uh, and then we need a base directory. And I have to put app here. This is because this is how I basically build my things. I use a mono repo, really. I've got my apps, I've got my app.test. And then so when it wants to run this, it needs to go in here to get the Docker file. And so that's where I can set that up. And I think that's it. I think I need to change this port, but I can't remember what it runs on. So let's just save this um, to start. And then we'll hit deploy and see what happens. Oh, I haven't put in the correct access rights. Right. Okay, and so if we come over to source, we remember that we have the 1 million checkboxes, but we haven't told um, GitHub that, hey, this deploy key can be used to like actually go and deploy stuff. And so to do that, I need to come back over here and get my public key. And then I need to come back over to my repo, hit settings, and I got to go to deploy keys. I'm going to add the deploy key here. We're going to add our public key. We're going to say the title is um, 10 deploy 1 million checkboxes coolify. Um, allow write access. No, we don't need to write access. Really, it just wants pull access to read. So this will just be safer. And we can add the key, use a pass key here like that. 
And now that the key is set up, we can come back over to our projects and try to redeploy. So let's go back to one of my own checkboxes and click deploy and see what happens. Okay, so this keeps saying that we don't have access rights. So let's come back over here and go back to source. And I think perhaps it's mad because it's private. And so what we're gonna do instead is actually just use SSH here. And I'm pretty sure we can do it like that. So let's save this and then run it again. Yep, so now it's able to find the repo. So I guess it doesn't like HTTPS um, for that. All right, it is building my thing, which is good. All right, so it says that the new container started. It's removing old containers and then doing a rolling update, which is good. And so then what we can come back over here to configuration and we'll look at this domain. It creates basically a random domain for us to hit our box. Um, and so this is how we'll test it out. So we'll go here and it says it's a bad gateway. Um, this makes sense because I'm pretty sure I'm listening on the wrong port. So let's go back over here to log, see if there's anything here. Yeah, it says it's listening um, on 8080. And so I believe what I need to do is change the port here to 8080. So we'll go 8080 like this, and then we'll save that. And then we, we always got to redeploy um, basically when we make a change um, so that the new version gets rolled out with the new um, things. This is very similar to like most paths as well, uh, as well, whether it's like railway or Google Cloud. So this makes sense. Um, and we don't need to rebuild. So we'll just hit restart here and see what happens. So uh, it doesn't like the container. So it looks like it's gonna pull anyway, which is fine. All right, moving the old containers, doing some stuff, rolling update, great. So it says that it's successfully created. And I think this stays the same. Let's see, aha, there it is, 1 million checkboxes. And if you're curious about what 1 million checkboxes does, it literally just has a million checkboxes. I do lazy load some of the boxes because, you know, um, if I didn't, I would be sending like five megs to everyone that uh, entered, um, and that's not great. So instead I, uh, you know, lazy load some of these boxes. But look at this, 999K, so we got, we got a million. So yeah, that's proof that, you know, 1 million checkboxes is running on um, Coolify and kind of how I bumbled my way through Coolify. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with Coolify. It's clearly not like the best user experience, but once you kind of get a hang of it and like figure out what the common failure cases are, you can pretty easily get this set up. This is like my fifth app on this. Um, I really learned this. It took me about like an hour or two um, to get the first app up and now I'm running like five apps on one VPS. So I think it's worked pretty well, but you know, it is like a one man squad. So there, there definitely are edge cases. Um, let me know if you like this kind of video. I usually am like a little bit more scripted, um, but I think a lot of people find it useful to see how like actual things work. So let me know. Um, and I'll probably have a more scripted version of this at some point if, if you're interested um, to kind of get the, the steps down. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.